Now for a discovery which may surprise you. Scientists have found that most of us still have a little bit of a Neanderthal inside us. A study into the DNA of the human subspecies found that they interbred with modern humans tens of thousands of years ago and their genetic mark remains today. BBC's Palab Ghosh has more on these extraordinary findings. This is a skull of a modern human and this is from a Neanderthal. Look closely and you can see that this one has a slightly longer brain case. Most scientists believe that these are two separate species and there wasn't much interaction between the two. But now we know there was interbreeding and that all non-Africans living today are part Neanderthal. The researchers extracted DNA from Neanderthal fossils and compared it with that taken from people living today. They found that the DNA of Europeans and Asians is 2% Neanderthal. It's a very exciting discovery because it gives us really the first strong evidence that there was interbreeding with people like the Neanderthals. And it means that modern humans in different parts of the world may have slightly different mixes. Further analysis should give a greater insight into how Neanderthals lived and shed more light on our own early origins. Halad Ghosh, BBC News. And the Neanderthal in me has always said, Neanderthal, I stand quite corrected. There are many jokes about people behaving like Neanderthals, but it seems the joke could be on us. Research has found that many human beings actually have Neanderthal DNA, proving there's an evolutionary link. The Neanderthal, that beastly evolutionary outcast, thought to be extinct for 30,000 years. But scientists believe they've picked up the trail of that hairy historic reject in the most surprising of places. In us, many of us anyway, there is new evidence that humans inherited up to 4% of our DNA from Neanderthals. The study in the journal Science is based on painstaking research into three Neanderthal bone fragments. Scientists reconstructed the Neanderthal genetic code and compared it to modern humans from across the globe and found there was up to a 4% match with humans everywhere but from Africa. The theory is that our human ancestors migrating out of Africa some 70,000 years ago had some amorous encounters with Neanderthals somewhere in the Middle East. We mean that they interbred or they had sex. This is the first real evidence Neanderthals and humans had kids, which means, despite the old assumption that Neanderthals disappeared from the evolutionary chart, Neanderthals aren't quite extinct. They all live on a little bit in many of us. So next time you spill beer at the game, you really are a little bit of a Neanderthal. The research is part of a major project mapping the Neanderthals genome and hopefully providing firm answers to a number of evolutionary questions. If you've ever accused someone of being a Neanderthal, then tonight you've been proved right. But it takes one to know one because scientists have just released studies that show we are all partly Neanderthal. For the first time ever, DNA analysis has proved that early modern humans interbred with our closest even evolutionary relatives. Stephanie West has this report. It's a debate that's engaged scientists for a hundred years or more. What's our link with Neanderthal man and woman? And moreover, did we ever mate? Now the truth is out of the box. According to research released tonight, DNA evidence shows modern humans interbred with the now extinct. Scientists believe it means all of us alive today are at least 1% Neanderthal. People like me have argued that there might have been interbreeding in the past, but all trace of it could have disappeared. This shows it didn't disappear, and it's there at a reasonable level. For the last four years, a team of 50 international scientists in Germany have been extracting DNA from Neanderthal bones, looking to resurrect their genetic code. But in so doing, they found this new evidence that settled the long-standing debate. As scientists found DNA evidence, they began interbreeding at least 50,000 years before Neanderthals became extinct. As to what these scientists say, it's a potential goal to help establish what makes us unique and could tell us why modern man survived while Neanderthals died out. In fact, in modern times, Neanderthal has become a handy word for brutish and evolved behavior, as in this 1950s cult classic. But at the Natural History Museum, they hope this discovery will lead to a little more understanding towards our past partners.
we don't know yet is what these genes might be doing. So the genes that came from Neanderthals, we don't yet know what their significance might be. They were distinct from us, but they were actually quite advanced humans. They could walk upright as well as we can. Their brains were as large as ours. Um, they were pretty good at what they did in terms of stone tool making. They buried their dead, so they had some very human features. But it looks like they were a, a somewhat separate line. And what this research also shows is that there are at least 70 genes that have been picked up that seem to be unique to the modern human line. The irony is some scientists believe Neanderthals were driven to extinction by humans, but now it seems they're still around, a tiny percentage.